Shalom, Akim. First and foremost, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Abraham Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. Shalom to the sincere brethren out there, pushing this word, and to you, sincere listeners. So, I want to go into a quick lesson, which I'm going to probably entitle this The Calm Before the Storm. You know, because what's going on, you know, currently here in uh, Babylon the Great, you know, uh, things are seemingly going to be getting back to normal. You know, out here in uh, California, you have things start uh, opening up again, restaurants that are still open, you know, they're going to be allowing, uh, you know, full capacity again. So, you know, as many patrons as they can fit inside of their establishment, they're going to be, you know, allowed to go in, you know, uh, the mass is supposed to be uh, coming off. And these people, you know, they gonna get rocked back to sleep, man. You know, not understanding what is getting ready to come down the pipeline. Okay, it's guaranteed this man's gonna shut everything down again. You know, there's gonna be something else that's gonna come up, whether it's the, uh, you know, the same uh, thing that's going on now, or whether it's something else, you know, whether it's a new uh, uh, strain or something like that. <clears throat> but there's gonna be, you know, something else. And the next thing that's coming is gonna be worse than the thing that we experienced, uh, uh, you know, last year, man. Okay. And the times that we're getting ready to enter into, these are the times that we've been preparing ourselves for. This is the times that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has been warning us about. Okay. All hell is getting ready to break loose out here, man. You know, it's just too many things going on for this just to be, you know, uh, you know, oh, now everything goes, goes back to normal, which they said multiple times that it ain't never going back to how it used to be. You know, this is the, the this is the new normal. Okay? So things are gonna get things are gonna get worse, man. You know? This is the calm before the storm. Alright? This is Acts 14 and 22. It says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the most high. And that's what's coming down here upon the earth. Tribulation. The time of Jacob's trouble. And we're right around the corner from this thing going down, man. Don't get fooled by what's getting ready to happen, you know, uh, throughout the country, man. You see things opening back up, you know. People going to be going back to the bars. You're going to see more people out on the street. This is just temporary, man. All our hell is getting ready to break loose out here. And the only thing Esau has to do is, is cause another event to happen, you know. And you're going to be seeing uh, more people be persecuted, okay. People that don't want to, you know, uh take his uh his baby sword people that don't want him to put his baby sword in him man these people are gonna be getting persecuted you ain't gonna be able to go certain places you know you're gonna be barred from from entering into certain uh venues man what's the scriptures have been talking about these things which all these things are leading up to the haragma so throughout all these different things, we got to keep our wits about us and make sure that we maintain our integrity in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah because it's gonna come, and this ain't gonna be no no easy walk in the park, man. It's gonna get bad out here. Okay, you already see what's going on. How the, how the crime rate is skyrocketing in the majority of these cities out here. This is gonna get worse, man. The prices of of you know uh, goods and commodities is going up, and these people they don't have. The, the, the income to survive out here, man. So what are they going to do? It says confirming the souls of the, of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that's what we have to do. We have to continue. All right. Exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the Most High. And that's what's coming down here, man. Tribulation. But see, Yahweh Yahweh has been building us up to endure the tribulation that's coming. Because we've been throughout through tribulation our whole time in this truth, man. You know, catching hell, having strange things happen to us. And the Most High has been doing these things so we can rely solely upon Him. Because that's the only thing that's going to get you up out of this situation that is getting ready to take over the earth, man. The tribulation and the hell that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to bring to the earth. The only way you're going to be able to escape is if you completely submit to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And these people don't know how to do that. But see, we've been trained and we're well acquainted with adversity, man. 
So we got an upper hand over these average people. This is Luke 14 and 27. And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. And that's what we got to do, man. The same path that Yahweh Shai took, that's the same path that we got to take. You know, we're going to have to go through that tribulation period, man. Okay? We're going to have to, you know, experience that hell. Just as Yahweh Shai did. The scriptures tell you that the servant is not above the master. Well, the scriptures tell you to present your body as a living sacrifice, man. So through, we're going to have to experience these different trials and tribulations, okay? Now, the difference between us and these people in the world is that we have hope that we'll overcome those things and Yahweh Shai will have mercy upon us, okay? These people in the world, they don't have that hope, man. And the majority of these people are going to succumb to the plagues and the tribulation that Yahweh Shai is going to bring down here upon the earth. Okay, but see, with our understanding, we know exactly what's going on. This is just another, uh, uh, you know, step, okay, or another path that we have to take to get to our ultimate goal, which is what? The kingdom, you know? This is uh, Matthew 7 and 13. It says, enter ye in at the straight gate, okay? So we, we, we have been prepared thoroughly for what's getting ready to come down here upon the earth, man. All right, Yahweh Shai warned us, the Most High warned us, you know, uh, the elders and apostles have, have thoroughly warned us of what's getting ready to come. So we're prepared mentally, man, and spiritually. It says, enter ye in at the straight gate. And when you look that word straight up, it denotes a position of difficulty. Okay, and difficult times are coming down here upon the earth. All right, and we all got to experience these things. It says, enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and since we've come into this truth we've been walking that straight and narrow path man okay so the things that are coming down here is, it's going to be far out you know because the most high is going to you know up the ante all right but throughout all these different things you how about shimmy how shy is going to be with us man and we're going to know and understand why these things are happening the most high is bringing judgment down here upon the wicked okay our main thing is to endure all right, and maintain our integrity in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah as we've done in the past when we've been put in certain situations. So what's the difference between then and now? It says, enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. And these people have not been preparing themselves, man. Okay, the whole time we've been in this troop, we've been catching hell, going through different uh, tribulations, you know. Why these people have pretty much been living a, a comfortable lifestyle, man. That their whole goal in life is to seek pleasure. You know? So they're, 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 they are on no level prepared for what's getting ready to come down here upon the earth, man. While the thing that we have been uh, no, being built up for is to endure things like this. Okay? It says, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth to life. And few there be that find it. So the only way you get into the kingdom is if you go through hell and tribulation, man. Just as the the, uh, the same route that Yahweh Shah had to take. Well, when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, he prayed to the Father that he didn't have to go on the cross, man. And the Most High did not uh, reply to him. Because that was the only way to go. Just as our entry into the kingdom, we're going to have to go through this path, man. We're going to have to go through these trials and tribulations. Okay, which these people out here, they're completely unaware that these things are coming. You know, they're getting, they're going to be fooled and rocked back to sleep by the opening back up of the uh, economy that's getting ready to take place, man. Okay, not knowing that there are multiple crises looming uh, behind the, the, the reopening. Okay, you got the economic collapse. You got more plagues and pestilences on the way. Okay, the, the government is getting ready to discriminate against people that are jabbed are unjabbed you know the people that are, that are jabbed they're gonna have more privileges than the unjabbed man okay and this man's gonna do certain things to try to coerce you in the, in the bound down to the system that he has established man okay we have to vehemently reject these things and whatever whatever comes with that we got to take it man all right It says, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. And Yahweh Shai has revealed this straight gate unto us, man. 
So now what is our goal? Our goal is to endure. All right. This is uh, Matthew 24 and 13. It says, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. What do we have to endure? Adhering to the standard that Yahweh has given us unto the end, despite what we're going through. Okay, despite what gets thrown in our path, man, and like I, you know, going back to the title of the video, the calm before the storm. So things are going to open up. They're going to seem like it's getting better, like everything's back to normal. You know, this, this is Babylon and great again, the, 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 the party country, you know. But behind all of that, okay, is, is the reality of what's really going on, man. The economic collapse is coming. There's going to be another wave, okay. More restrictions are going to be put in place. Uh, after this more your rights are going to be taken away Okay All our hell's getting ready to break loose man Don't be surprised if after this This, this second incident goes down They start rounding people up And saying you, you're, you're a, a, a biohazard man And we read articles where they've been saying these things Okay So there has to be some time where he's going to implement it I believe through the spirit and power Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai That's going to be after this uh You know uh, reopening happens it says, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And that's that's our, you know, goal. Our goal is to endure, man. And whatever suffering that we have to deal with to endure, we gotta we gotta take it, man. Okay, because the reward is greater than you know uh the path that we have to take to get the reward. All right. This is uh Romans 8. And 18, it says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. And this is something that we have to keep in mind, man. Okay, when we're going through these different things that's getting ready to take place down here upon the earth, know and understand that this, this is a light thing. Okay, the scriptures talk about our light affliction. The things that we're going to deal with down here, okay, not, not having food, not being able to do the things that we used to do, you know, these things are going to be small in comparison to the glorious kingdom that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is getting ready to bestow upon us, man. Okay? So prepare yourself, you know, because all our hell is getting ready to come down here upon the earth, man. And don't get fooled by what's going on here in Babylon. Don't get fooled by the, you know, the reopening that's getting ready to take place. You know, all the things that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai spake of in the scriptures are still coming down here to the earth. Okay? You know, I just want to go into that. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, willing. It was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Yahweh Hakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom.